If you've got a country like Australia selling all its good farms uh, to overseas countries uh, and allowing uh, Australia to stop producing food uh, and all the food that comes in is imported, then that country that's sending the food in is just going to say, not going to give you any more, mate. When Australians hear the words food security, it doesn't really garner much concern. Our food supply has always been plentiful, and it's hard to imagine it ever being scarce or unavailable. Recently, however, through a small country town's battle with extinction, food security has been put in the spotlight. Almost 150 workers will lose their jobs when a Heinz factory in northern Victoria closes its doors for the last time today. And Heinz is putting the squeeze in a Goulburn Valley community. Growers and manufacturers say it signals a deep decline in local food production with serious implication for manufacturing and Australia's food security. Most people are walking out of here after five to ten years as a permanent casual with a month's pay. That's it. People were scared of the future and there was this sense of being humiliated by Heinz just walking away. The community of Gigauri decided they weren't done just yet. Led by local resident Les Cameron, they put the word out, and that word was co-op. They have believed that this is very important, obviously, that community, I and mean, with some other big uh, multinational companies in the area. From there, it was go talk to some of the growers. They responded very positively, called a meeting of all of the tomato growers in the area. And within a period of relatively few weeks, uh, the idea started to gain currency. I don't want to listen to some guy Try and tell me how to live my life I don't want to listen to some man Tell me I gotta have a five-year plan I don't want to walk in single file I don't want to live in self-denial This is going to be a fairly simple meeting in some ways because what we, uh, what we are at the moment is a committee that doesn't have any rights other than to call the rally. We're talking about a $100 million business uh, potentially here. That's what it's been in the best days for Heinz. And so a co-op to be running that obviously has to be serious. Peter Walsh, Minister of Agriculture, used to be a tomato grower is prepared to put money behind a feasibility study to prove what you can do in terms of running that factory competitively. What we're offering you here is a win-win where you benefit. So what we'd like to do now is to actually ask you to put your hand up if you're willing to be part of this, this committee, this cooperative. We're assuming all of you are going to be part of the cooperative, but are you willing to be part of the group that actually takes it to the next level? Have we got anyone who'd be happy to put their hand up to that? who are willing to sell to us, we've got customers who are willing to buy from us, uh, we've got other ideas such as establishing a training centre on site. Uh, the co-op is not really about the factory at Gagari, the co-op the co is actually about food security. Most did in the, uh, in the years gone by, I'd starve people out. We certainly see a desperate need for uh, 
speed on this matter rather than sitting back and slowly watching the decline of Australian agriculture. I am sure that people don't understand and that's why you know I make the plea on national television would you please start you know um, using more Australian product. It's a groundswell of community support for, for what is basically a good idea to compete against the multinationals in a, in a David and Goliath type battle. So to join the co-op will actually be meaning that you are joining the battle to make sure that Australia uh, does have a food secure future. Never take advice from anyone It'd make you want to run It'd make you want to run